It's that time of year here in the northern states in the U.S. that we have to worry about salt, slush, and more so rust in the underneath side of our vehicles. I'm going to rust proof this vehicle for this winter and I'm going to show you how I do it. Follow along. The first step that I do is I typically try to clean the underneath side of the truck to get all the grime, dirt, summer and last winter, anything you have under the truck to, to get it cleaned up and that's what I do. In my shop I have a way to lift my truck. That's not really necessary but it is a lot handier. I just use this pressure sprayer right here it's, uh, it's electric, it's nothing special. The uh, reason it's electric, it's handier for me in the shop to use, especially when it's this time of the year and you got the doors closed. But this, this goes up to what, 25, 3,000 PSI, I don't even know for sure. But I take and I wash the complete underneath side of the truck and every nook and cranny I can get um, where there may be dirt, residue, loose rust, all that and I blast it off. That's step number one. Okay, the next step that I do after this is thoroughly dried and it took a couple of days for that to happen and I actually hurt my finger so I have let it set longer than I normally would but what I do is I take this rust inhibitor and I spray completely under and all I used was this little thing here and I went ch -ch 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 all over and just saturated it you should wear some kind of protection when you do this because it drips down it gets in your hair your eyes it burns it could cause some uh, uh, injury if you don't take the right precautions. So if you use this product, I suggest that you use eye protection, gloves, arm protection, and that. But you saturate it with this, and then the key is just to let that dry thoroughly. The final step I do, and I came across this product over a year ago, and I used it on my F-150, my 1985. I put out a couple videos where I discuss that when I was working on uh, uh, <clears throat> rust proofing the frame uh, earlier this year after last winter. I was forced to use that 85, which I didn't want to last winter because that's all I had to drive. So I went ahead and lifted it up, put this on, the, on there, and just saturated it. The issue with this stuff is it's real sticky, and if you have to work on the underneath side of your vehicle, it, uh, well, it's not pleasant. It gets, gets all over you. This is uh, fluid film. I'm not promoting it in any way. There's no paper promotion on my part for this. I just use it. I came across it and I liked it. This particular product is, and I'm going to show you how I apply it, but only briefly because it's real sticky and I don't want to uh, ruin my video equipment. But I'll show you how I do it. Not only did I buy the gallon of uh, fluid film, but I also bought an applicator designed special for that. You have these hoses to get up in the crevices that you can't. And what I do is I totally saturate the underneath side of my vehicle. Now this particular vehicle is one that I'm going to drive this winter and that's why I'm going to do it. Now next spring I may bring it in here and take a pressure washer and try to get it all off and paint the underneath side of this vehicle. But for this year I'm just going to spray this on. There's a lot of rust that started to develop on, on the old F-150 and I don't want it to get any worse. So I'm going to try to get this and all the nooks and crannies and see what we can do. 
And I will show you how I do that process. But before I do, I want to suit up because this stuff is sticky. And, and the last time I used it, I got it in my hair and it took, took more than one wash to get it out. It, uh, it stays in place. It seals up if a rock hits it. It's, it. I found it to work real well. So let's get right to it. I'm not going to uh, spray very long with this, but I'm going to show you how this applies with air in this applicator. It does put out a mist, so I moved out some of my uh, other vehicles as not to get oil all over them. But let's see how this works. You can see that that sprays really nicely, but I am going to open my doors and I'm going to turn off my camera and cover it up because I can't uh, take the chance of ruining it, ruining it. When I get done with this, I will show you the finished product. Well, I've got this completed under here. I have it completed, so let's see if you can see a little bit of what I got done. I'll take it up. I'll let you look from this angle somewhat and let you see it. I know it's hard to see. I'll get you in a different angle here. You can see that shininess on a frame. That's uh, due to the oil being on there. That's nice and sticky. I don't know if you can see that on my finger, but uh, I'm really pleased in how this turned out. <clears throat> it should work really well for the rest of this year and the rest of the winter. Well, we're going to call this project complete. Got the truck down, getting ready to put it back out so I can start driving it. If you have projects that you've done like this, I would like to hear about them. Please comment below. Let me know what you're doing. Get a conversation going. Tell me what I've done wrong. Tell me your thoughts on fluid film. If you like what I bring each week and don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button and the notification tab so you know when my videos come out. If you like videos like this, I recommend that you watch this right here. It says a little bit about what my channel is and what's going on in my shop up to date. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.